I think this is day 998 of my live streams. <sighs> Which means it's getting really real, staring down the barrel of 321 and I'm done with my thousand days of live streaming. Shit's real, y'all. It's really happening. I have gotten very accustomed to live streaming every day. 998 days of doing anything, I think, is, you know, a lot. It's, uh, it's getting really real. It's like three away from 1,000. Well, it's like two away from 1,000. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy to think about. I was posting the other day about how I've worked out for 2,000 straight days. And I, I finally found the way to accurately state that streak. I've never, like, I don't post about that streak. Like, on, I mean, I, whatever. My live streaming streak is, like, a 100% unbroken, perfect streak. My exercise streak, what I can say is that for at least 2,000 some days, I have exercised according to my physician's recommendations. Because there were... There was at least one time when I had gum surgery when my physician told me, don't fucking exercise. And I did uh, try to get my standing credit and try to move around those days. But I did take my physician's advice and I did refrain from exercising during that week. But I have always followed my physician's exercise recommendations for at least 2,000 days. And that's become so ingrained in me that like... I cannot fathom just like skipping a workout day. Like we work out, you know, we do like planned 30 day, 45 day, 90 day workout plans and we just follow the plan. And like, I, I, I don't ever, I don't, I cannot imagine just like being like, oh, fuck it. Like it's just a, it's such a habit now been 2000 days. I have like ended relationships before over arguments about exercise because I was so against exercising. I think that's accurate. Like I wasn't necessarily consciously against it, but I was very against like being told that it was a good thing. I was very against recognizing the benefit that it had for me. I was very against like being consistent about it. It took me a lot, it took me, a, it took a lot of factors to just have me deal with whatever was in between me and exercising every day. And after 2000 days, at least of that, it's like, I just, it'd be like telling someone to intentionally not brush their teeth for like a whole, you know, 24 hours. Like, even if you're not consciously always like, I mean, I definitely brush my teeth twice a day, like very very consistently but it'd be just weird you'd be like why why I would just just let me brush my teeth like it, I'll feel better I feel the same way about exercising I have definitely come to feel something like that about live streaming although live streaming has a much bigger um hurdle still like it's I don't know apparently people don't see it or think that it's true but like I still have to overcome something every single day to show up here. It's not just like, I'm not like, I mean, there's a reason that I don't live stream until really late in the day, right? Like today it's like five minutes before midnight because I don't always feel like it. I don't feel like, like it takes something to show up. I mean, anyone who has ever tried to show up on a regular basis as a creator will tell you, that it takes something like it just does. And I have like, I have hit, I have definitely hit the tipping point where it will be harder to quit this than it would be to keep going. And I will use that momentum to do other things with my time. And I did it and I showed up every single day it's been 998 days. I listened to my live stream this morning from last year and it was like, I was like, oh, proud of myself for being like 600 and you know, whatever it was, like four, 630 some days. And it's like, oh, isn't that precious? Like, just wait till you hit a thousand. Um, and 
Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just like processing all of the gains that I have achieved out of it. Like I have made so much progress in so many areas and uh, there's a lot to unpack from all of that. And I will do that at some point. It's not midnight on whatever Saturday night, whatever, whatever this is. So I published my sixth, I think straight fifth or sixth. I think it's day six of publishing on Medium. I published my sixth piece on Medium today. Um, it's like way, the, 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 the struggle is real with like, with going through the hurdles to get to doing that every day. It's just, it's just another thing, but it's just another thing like exercising, like live streaming. Like you can start with basically anything that's difficult, anything that you can do, even though you don't want to do it, which turns out is pretty much everything in life that matters. Um, you can start the habit of developing habits by doing anything on a regular basis. So you don't have to start with live streaming or start with publishing your writing every day or start, you don't have to start with anything specific. You don't even have to start with exercise. Although exercise is such a good place to start for people because it has all of these create creative energy kind of benefits. It has all of these mental benefits. It has all these emotional benefits. Like it is one of those sort of rolling the hill, like down the hill, you know, I know they say a rolling stone gathers no moss, but I picture like a ball rolling down, like a snowball rolling down the hill, just becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. It has a snowball effect where you are doing something you don't want to do. So you're learning that you can do things that you don't feel like doing. You're improving your body, you're improving your mind, you're improving your overall health. You're like getting a lot of short term benefits. You're getting a lot of long term benefits. Like it really is the place to start if you haven't, if you don't have the habit of habits, if you don't have the habit of daily anythings, then I highly, highly, highly recommend that you start there. And, you know, yeah, start there. Start where you can. Look, I started this live streaming thing. You can go back to my videos from 1,000 days ago or 998 days ago if you need five minutes of exercise because that's how I started these videos. I started these videos by leading you through five minutes of exercise for people who weren't doing an exercise. And I did that because I knew I could do five minutes of exercise and that would kind of distract me and I could talk on a live stream and get comfortable. I did what I had to do to get comfortable with the format and you can do exactly the same thing. You can pick wherever it is that you want to start. You can walk every day. You can, uh, you can, you, I mean, look, go back and watch my early videos if you want to know things that you can do to do exercise, but know that you can do something no matter where you're starting from. And I know how it feels to be stuck in a place where you're like constantly feeling like you're starting over. I just encourage you to like, you feel that way until you don't. It has to feel that way until it just doesn't anymore. It felt that way for an eternity for me until it didn't anymore. And you don't know when you're going to hit that point and you have to push through the periods where it really feels like, I'm not going to hit that point. I'm not going to hit that point. The big rewards come from either pushing through that and keeping going or starting it again as soon as you find yourself stopped. That's where the big gains in life come. So today's day 998. I don't know. I feel like I should have a party or something, but I don't feel like preparing a party for Monday. Also, what do I even mean by a party? Um, I also just realized that what I titled this live stream was, was what you should watch on Hulu. So I best to go ahead and tell you my whole point in starting this live stream today was like, I'm just going to tell them what movie to watch and then I'm going to hang up the phone, <laughs> hang up the live stream. I just talked this whole time and didn't bother to even tell you. And I definitely didn't bother to stop talking and turn off the phone. The thing that you should watch on Hulu is now available for free. I watched it like a couple months ago and I was, I, I potentially did rave a little bit about it, but I didn't want to like go off the hook about it because it wasn't available. You had to pay per view kind of to watch it in a sort of, I forget what it was called, like a, 
I was in like a film festival, a virtual film festival kind of format, but now it's available on Hulu. You have no excuses. Like you must watch it. It's called In and of Itself. And I really don't want to tell you anything else about it. I want you to trust me. I want you to trust me if you trust me at all. Look, are you doing anything really that important with your couple of hours? I promise you it's transformational. It's entertaining, but I, I also highly encourage you not to research it. Like the best way to watch it is to go into it with with no expectations. And so that's what I highly recommend. In and of itself. In and of itself. It's by Derek Del Gaudio. I don't want to tell you anything else about it. I want you to go watch it and then we can talk about it after. Okay, bye.